Hello everyone, on this video we are going to see how to add multiple languages in a Flutter application. You can use the default system language or you can change the language on runtime. For example here, you have a message in English and everything is in English, but if I press the Portuguese flag, it changes all to Portuguese, like this. And we can also put parameters inside the strings for example here and you can see it changes the username so let's start as a starter project we have already here the layouts you can see here the this string with the, the username and the temp strings and the, the flags but if I click on them nothing happens and here it changes the username to work with the localization first, we need to change the pubs pack file. So let's do it. So go here and add these dependencies. So photo localizations and Intel. And also add generate through here in Flutter. So run pubget. Now we should add the delegates to the material app. So we'll go here and on material app here. So localizations delegates. And it's a list. So first add the localization for material. So then for Cupertino and add the delegate to check which direction should the text be so from left to right or from right to left so th that this one is what that so we need to add the import here and you can see here I can put this as constant. Now we should say which are the supported locales. So and it's and it's a list as well. So locale and it's going to be English and Portuguese. And it can be constant as well. Now to configure the localization we need to add an YAML file here. So new here you need to call like this. So L ten N N dot YAML. This is the file with the configuration that photo is going to read. So create like this and I will copy and export. So you should put like this. So here is the location that we are going to create with the files with the different language. Here is the, the a template that's going to be the English and the output where it's going to be generated uh, Dart classes, but I will show you in a bit. And create inside with a folder with this name, so we can copy directory like this. And here we can put the strings in a different language. So copy this name and create a file with this name. And here we will put the English strings. So it's going to be key and then value. So the first key is language is a, a good practice to always put the language so and this one is English now let's copy this file and create the Portuguese version so PT like this and this one 
is Portuguese. Okay. Now, if we run the app, we are going to generate the files. So, because we put as generate true. So, let's run the app. And you can see here inside Dart Tools, Photogen, and you have the English and the Portuguese. So, because we already have this, we can change this. So we don't need to put manually, only at the start. Now we can put automatically, so import the files and as localizations delegates put app localization dot localization delegates and as support delegates put app localization dot Sport delegates, and you can see here it's the same, but is it generates automatically for us, and we can already use the language. So let's replace this temp string by the language. Go here to assess the string app localizations dot of context and in this case it's language because it's the name we gave here so language and this is not null and this is no longer a const so let's run the app and you can see here it's in Portuguese but if I go to the settings here And change from Portuguese to English change to English run the app again you can see here English right now we are only getting the language from the system we are not changing it on runtime so let's make that change to do that we should pass here in the material app the locale so locale and it can be nullable and if it is null it gets the default system locale so locale and pass here and this change to a stateful widget and create here the method to change the local so void set local it's a new local and set state And here, locale equals the new locale. And let's pass this method to my home page widget because we want to change, change here. So. On my own page, receive the function. So, it's the locale. And we should have received here. And this can't be const. And here, to change the locale, you need to call that method with the new locale. 
so we should call with different locales in each image let's call widget set locale and locale dot from subtext language code and in this case because is English so a n and this can be constant and we can copy and add here change this to Portuguese let's try and yeah look here so if I press Portuguese it changes here and you can see here in the code this is to get the language that we created here and this is this that shows the local now let's add the other strings and get a variable inside a string because right now we are passing the variable here and this is not a good approach when you have a different language because sometimes that variable for example the name can be in one language at the end of the phrase and in another language at the beginning so in these situations we shouldn't use the strings like this but put it inside these files and receive there the variable so let's do that now so go here and create a new value so welcome message and in this case it's going to be hello and then like this receive a variable so put the name you want to give to the variable in this case name and add some placeholders so here add the same key but with this and here put placeholders and in this case we only have the name and we should define the type so that is a string and let's do the same to the string in the buttons so I will copy to save time and you can see the same logic I already have here the translations so I will copy and the same thing in Portuguese okay and now here in the main we can assess the value with app locations dot of context dot in this case we don't have the new variables that we added because we didn't run the app again and the code wasn't generated so we can try to run the app it's going to give an arrow so put here something like this and stop the app and run again some arrow ah, okay it's missing here a semicolon and here so let's run again and now the code were generated for the new string so we have here and it's like a simple method you can see that takes the parameter we added so in this case it's going to be the name and here I will add now so let's copy this 
end. I mean Portuguese. It's important that the name is the same. So we what is this I can copy and put here and it's the initial message. And this can be constant. But this one can, and this one can. Here the same thing. So, but it and can't be constant. I put all of these inside the same file, and there is some repetition in the code to make it simple, but of course in your, your application you can organize this better and you should organize this better. Let's run again. Okay, you can see messaging in English and here it's Maria name and John name. So you can see here messaging in English and change to Maria, it's already Maria, change to John, it's in John. And you can change to Portuguese and back to English in runtime. So let's make a resume of the steps I recommend you to follow to implement multiple languages in your application. So first, add the dependencies and put generators through in pubspec.yaml file, create the L10 and YAML file, create the folder with the, the R files, and then put the localization parameters in your material app. And finally, you can assess the strings by using app localizations of context. I recommend you to look into the Flutter documentation, and you can see here there are more stuff, for example. the same language but in different countries you can see here english from the united states and you can have english from the united states and english from the uk so that's all guys thanks for watching and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe press the like button and uh, see you in the next video